Hi, Year Space. This is Herman again from uh, from Name Show 2024 here in Anaheim. And this time, I would like to show you our new Channel One Mark III. And uh, yeah, come on in, and I run you through the product. So the Channel One existed also since the late 90s, and it has seen uh, two other revisions. Uh, one other revision, and this is now the Mark III version, which now has a set of new features built in. One feature that is really interesting, but only very small on the front panel, is that input switch. Now it allows you to compare two different microphones and a line signal that would have, might have another microphone on, and with individual phantom power switches, and you can compare a mic microphones through the same audio processing channel and through the same microphone preamplifier. As we all know, this has always been difficult if you don't have the same preamp to judge what the microphone is doing. Now this is possible and it helps you to select the better microphone for your recording. So that's that section. Then there is a tube saturation already built into the preamp. So if you like that, you can dial in as much tube saturation as you like. That's all tube inside, That's, uh, and it's only one control, and the level gain that has been increasing will automatically be reduced, so they always have a one-to-one -one listening experience. Now you might also send this control at the end of the chain so that everything is going through the, the, uh, the tube section and for that you press this button which says tube post which means the tube now is post everything. Then we have the de built in and uh, that's our face cancellation de that we also have in the track one and then in, in, this, in the standalone unit. But here we have a dual channel DS with a low and a high section. So it, you can actu uh, actually reduce S's in a low band and in octave higher. Then also new is the transient designer. That section is being built in into the channel, so we never did that before. So that's a very cool feature for those guys doing sampling and stuff like that. That's superb to have it already built in. Um, then we have like another switch uh, here where you can say that the, that the equalizer can be sent pre-equalizer, uh, pre-transit designer, I'm sorry for that. So that this section with the filters can operate in front of the transient designer and thereby the transient designer would only react on the frequencies that you selected and, and preferred. Then that nice middle section with the big VU, that's also a, a new feature. You can calibrate the VU over uh, here and you can set the function of the VU from either being input or output or gain reduction. Uh, then we come to the compressor section. Now that's a highly automated compressor where uh, attack and release are adaptive, adaptively set, similar to what we do in the transient designer with envelope followers. So we're tracking the music signal and that the compressor really reacts on what the music does and not on some fixed attack and release uh, uh, settings. And we do that because in a live situation, when you record an artist, it's very unpredictable what the peak will actually be. And therefore, something that's automated and sees it and can then adjust itself onto it, it's, it has a much more musical um, solution. Yeah, that's the, what you should know about the Channel 1 Mark III. Um, and so check out our website, spl.audio. If you have more, there are videos on there as well. I think. No, they are. And uh, all my best from, from them and uh, stay safe. Bye-bye.